Endometriosis is defined as endometrial tissue, that tissue that normally lines the uterus, that grows outside of the uterine cavity. We believe that most endometriosis comes from retrograde menstruation. The menstrual flow, instead of coming out through the cervix into the vagina, flows backwards up the fallopian tubes and out into the abdomen. It's not uncommon to have endometriosis and not even know you have it. Um, sometimes endometriosis can cause severe pelvic pain. Sometimes it can be just more severe menstrual cramps that may not be recognized as endometriosis. Uh, but sometimes the disease is completely silent until somebody tries to conceive. They may not experience pain at all and yet have trouble becoming pregnant. We don't have any x-rays, ultrasounds, CAT scans that can definitively detect endometriosis. We don't yet have any blood tests. The gold standard for diagnosing endometriosis has been a surgical diagnosis, and we don't want to do surgery unnecessarily on someone uh, if we're not certain that there's a high likelihood of finding endometriosis. Um, so unfortunately, that's led to uh, delay in the diagnosis of approximately 12 years from when someone first has signs of endometriosis until the time the diagnosis is made. The treatments for endometriosis vary depending on the objectives. Pain is treated very differently than infertility. Unfortunately, most of the medications that treat pain also act as contraceptives. Surgery is also an effective therapy for endometriosis. Of course, if a simple medication can treat the disease, I would prefer that rather than putting someone through a, a surgery. But sometimes medications aren't effective. Additionally, if somebody is trying to conceive and has pain, surgery is a good option. With mild to moderate endometriosis, there is still the possibility for natural conception. It's probably about 10% of the rate of a normal, healthy, fertile couple trying to conceive. There are various medications that can stimulate the ovaries that will slightly increase pregnancy rates above that of a natural conception cycle. Um, these come with the risk of multiple pregnancy, though, um, and often uh, we will move right to in vitro fertilization. It eliminates most of the problems of endometriosis. We remove the egg and the early embryo from this abnormal environment. We supplement appropriate hormones to correct any hormonal imbalances. There's probably no single endometriosis gene. There are chemicals in the environment that often are estrogen-like chemicals or modify the immune system that can put one at greater risk. And it's really probably a combination of genes and environmental influences together uh, that determine whether someone will develop endometriosis. The good news is that most women with endometriosis will be able to conceive. Our goal is to find the best treatment option for them, whether it's natural conception, whether it's surgery, whether it's a medication, or whether it's in vitro fertilization. We're working on developing new non-invasive tests, blood tests for example, for endometriosis and we hope that someday we'll have ways to detect the disease very early and to treat the disease so it will become less of a burden than it is today.